In this video, I want to talk about using uh, what we would call sister joists. This would be taking your original ceiling joist, which would be this one here, the one that's nailed to this rafter, and this one, and then this one here that would be nailed to this rafter, and then adding a joist to each side. Now, this would actually require you to cut the uh, one of the joists that you're going to be lapping so that the next one will be able to butt up against it and then of course you can lap over the next one here as you double it up now it all depends upon how your building is laid out but this would be the most common method if you had a lap if you were using lapped ceiling joists or ceiling joists that lap and uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a picture of that in this video. I Oh, I will. I'll have it in the next section when I have all of the boards lap, which would be a different method. So this is one way that you can do this. I would like to keep in mind that um, nailing, the, nailing a new joist to another joist, whether it's a 2x4 or a 2x6, could actually damage the ceiling so if you think about it if you're using a nail gun some type of a pneumatic nailer it's probably not going to be as big of a problem but if you got a hammer and you're driving nails into these boards um, you could actually break the uh, you could actually end up with some cracks in your ceiling so keep that in mind um, a method for attaching these that uh, most of the time is recommended by an engineer would be nailing nails 16 inches on center staggered so that would be a 16 inches on the top um, maybe an inch below and then um, see if I give you an example here you would have one about an inch below 16 inches away from that you would go continue 16 inches and then you would go to the middle of the 16 inches and then go down about an inch from the bottom and then you would nail one here and one here and this would provide you with a staggered nailing schedule another method would be to drill through the joists and bolt them together the uh, I don't really know what you would do if that would be 16 inches on center or 24 inches on center I would imagine 24 inches on center would be fine for 2 by 4 or 2 by 6 something like that um, but uh, might require a totally different might even require a staggered bolt pattern with um, with that so that would be a couple of methods you could use for attaching the joists to each other and like I said the ceiling damage you can uh, I've seen it happen before I'm always too cautious of it and then like I said the nail guns might be provide you with a good way now you're probably thinking why don't I use some screws most engineers don't use screws because they don't have a mm -hmm. Um, because they break easier than a nail does when pushed side to side. So, I um, mean, I think I have some other videos on that too. I could always uh, uh, make another one on that if you guys need some more information. So, like I said, you would need to cut one of the joists because this one here would actually be running through in order to have this one, um, in order to be able to nail this one next to that one. So, and again, this, put some thought into this. Don't just jump into it and, uh, you know, say, hey, I'm going to do this, and then you start doing it, and there's a problem. Try and figure it out what's going to work and what isn't going to work, um, what method here that I'm providing you with will work the best. And remember, again, I am not a structural engineer. I'm just providing you with examples um, I always advise contacting a structural engineer first before doing something like this because you are adding weight to your structure. The building probably wasn't designed for it. The building probably wasn't designed to, t to turn your attic into a two-story space. Just keep that in mind. 
Um, you know, most attics are designed, uh, they're not even designed for storage, even though people think that they are, or they'll store stuff in their attic and they think, oh, I don't, there's, I don't, I'm not having a problem with this. This isn't a big deal. And, uh, you know, 10 years later, you notice all the ceiling joists sagging or your roof rafters sagging. So uh, just give it some thought before you uh, actually decide to convert your attic to a storage area or another room um, without the help of a structural engineer. Here's the second method, probably something that might work better than the other one, and that would be simply installing another joist in between the original joist. If they're 24 inches on center, um, you could install something at uh, 12 inches on center, and then um, you know, just putting something, kind of splitting the difference. This is another thing that a structural engineer might recommend for a situation like this. Now remember, your 2x4s, if you have a 2x4, this video would will work for conventionally framed homes with ceiling joists, not truss roofs. But um, if you have 2x4s for your ceiling joists, they're probably not rated. You know, they might need to be 2x6 or 2x8, you know, for something like this. And that'll be in our last example, give you another idea. And uh, something like this, you could actually just put the put the ceiling joists in um, the center, and um, you're not going to have to worry about uh, driving any nails or screws or bolting them together or ruining the ceiling below through the vibration of the um, beating on the uh, ceiling joist with a hammer. So, so this is another method. Here is the last method I will provide you with. Um, you could actually go with larger joist sizes. Uh, but again, keep in mind, I cannot stress this enough, the original building, the beams that are supporting the ceiling joists, the walls, the footings might not be sized properly for something like this. Again, again, you know, a lot of the videos I've made are through my years I spent in the construction business through observation, just observing things. And I've seen some stuff that you wouldn't think would be standing up, and it does. So when I tell you don't do this, um, and you go to your neighbor's house and he's got an attic that all they did was they just took the original two by fours that were 24 inches on center and threw some plywood on top and built a room. I've seen this before. So just because a, a structural engineer or somebody says, hey, you can't do something like this doesn't mean that it can't be done and it won't last. I'm giving you this view here to show you how you would have to notch the end of the larger joist to fit in the roof. So here we go. We would just lap them again, split the difference here, and you would make them 24 inches on center or 16 inches on center, depending upon your rafters. And again, nice flat view there. A view from the top. Another view, this one I wanted to show you how you would uh, simply just add another board. You might have to rip it down to size on the top here to uh, give you a edge, something to nail your floor sheathing to. So this would be a nice simple, simple fix here. So just simply nail if you have a 2x4 or 2x2, two two, whatever you would need to go on top of that board to make it work. Nice flat view. So anyway, that's it for the video. I don't want to make it too long. I am going to make one more video to provide you with a way to get the ceiling joist into the attic if uh, you actually can't get it in through your crawl space. And that would require cutting a hole on the outside of the building. So there will be a link here for that.